Hello everyone, Juggalo Zen back at it again, Schlubben and Numbered. Back with another installment of Schlub Unboxes. This time, we feel like down here in South Texas we're in cold ass call time. So let's open up some more call time huh, with a couple of pre release packs. Alrighty, so let's get to it. Let us see what we see, huh? It's cold down here, and there's more storms to come, and for everybody having ooh for everybody having difficulties with their utilities and such my heart goes out to you and i hope that everything gets resolved nice and quick so let's see what our promo is oh <gasps> oh man almost but dude foiled vo oh man and i saw that pyrexian uh, watermark and i was like oh my god ooh oh so that's number three voren clicks for me so now I have to build a deck, but let us see what Star City has to say about this. Because that may have paid for this venture. Let us see, let us see. Ah. So, Warren Clex Monsters Raider Foil, $44.99. That almost paid for both of the freaking kits. So you know what that means? We're on that value train. That value train. Chugga chugga choo choo. Value. 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 Ooh. 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 And I think this particular animation that I was using is a little bit slower. Let me waste some of y'all's time looking for my slightly faster. <laughs> All right, whoo boy, that's just the promo. That is just the promo. Amazing. So, let me see where is anybody who wants it? That's yours. Let me throw this somewhere so that I know that it's no good anymore. All right, so here we go six packs. I, it's already a win for me with that bad nasty Warren Clex. So let's see here. So what uncommons do we have? Replicating Ring. Let's get Berserker. Great Hall of Starnheim. I love that art. Reflections of Lecherra. And an Alpine Meadows. Okie doke. See here, uh, Skim Far Elder Hall, Return Upon the Tide, Fall of the Imposter, Blessing of Frost, Snow Covered Mountain. Okay, so so far the packs ain't giving me any love, but that Vorinclex, that freaking Vorinclex, holy moly. Alright. Cardra's Vicious Return, Dwarven Hammer. Inga Rune Eyes Showcase and Kolvori God of Kinship Showcase. <laughs> Snow Covered Plains Treasure Token too. Okay, so that was a fun one, but that wasn't the values. Oh, come on, come on. Mm -mm, I know you weren't having trouble with that pack. Mm -mm. Let's see here. Do -do 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 -do. Here we go, Poison the Cup, Firja Showcase, Saw It Coming, and Emerson. Ah, this freaking card won't leave me alone. Uh, ooh, what is this? Foil the Raven's Warning. That's a foil rare. All right. Uh, I really doubt that's worth anything, but let's take a look. Let us take a look. So on Star City Games, and it's a... Uh, I already put this stack down. What is it? A... Uh, the Raven's Warning. The Raven's Warning. Ah, so, whoop. Sardis has the Raven's Warning in foil. One ninety nine on sale for a dollar fifty. So, nope, no values there. No values there. Mm -mm, you thought we were gonna get value, mm -mm, but you got that warning class. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. So 
here we go. Arfi, Spirit of Aldegard, and Blood in the Snow. Oh, and a foil forging the Tyrants of Dads is beautiful. Look at that. Alrighty. So, so far, nothing in the packs, but this boring clex, man, like I said, it practically paid for this whole venture. Last pack of the kit Doomscar Titan, Hailstorm Valkyrie, Lit Jara Mirror Lake, and the Blood Sky Massacre. Not a lot of foils in this kit. But okay, no, was it pack wise? I didn't get anything but that promo dough. Oh, this promo. Woo! 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 Alrighty. Off to kit number two. What do we get? Yeah. Alrighty. Here we go. Oh, yeah, another black one. Nice. Alright, so, uh, where is that? Here we go. So, anybody who wants it, that's yours. Here we go. And the promo is Harold Unites the Elves. Nah. Meh. Ain't no Vorinclex. Alright, so here we go. Mm -hmm. So we got... I'm noticing in this product, it's really hard to get the full art uh, pathways. Not like uh, Zendikar was. Turn up on the tide. Scam for Elder Hall. Furja. And Tibble's Trickery. I'm sure this thing's value is going to go down hard. In fact, let's let's check it out. Let's check it out. Tibble's Trickery. Yeah. So Tibble's Trickery at $3.99. That is barely the worth of the pack. So I'm not going to give value train to that particular rare. And we continue. All right. So we got Rune of Sustenance, Withered Runestone, Axe Guard Armory, and oh, I was just talking about it. Sweet. Oh, look at that. Bark Channel Pathway. Tide Channel Oh, that's so beautiful. Oh man. So I know these aren't worth anything. But I must see. Because that's worth it to me. Bark Channel? Be good if you're there you go. Bark Channel Pathway. Oh. Full art Bark Channel Pathway. Five ninety nine. So you know what that means. That's a trip on the value train. The value train. Chugga chugga choo choo. Ooh, mm, 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 mm. I'm happy to have that. I think that's the second one that I've pulled. And it happens to be the second one that I've pulled in a pre release kit. I haven't pulled one in a regular booster, but in a pre release kit booster. It's very interesting. So here we go. Was it so. Uh, how was that say? Was it. Not Volt Slumber Mound. Turgrid Shadow, Frost Augur, and oh! Kaya the Inexorable. I think that's number three for me now. And I, I bought my first one because I had pulled the other two full arts and I was like, well, I might as well finish the set. Little did I know. Little did I know that the only Kaya I would pull would be full arts. So... Kaya the Inexorable, Borderless, seven ninety nine. So again, we're back on that value train. That value train. Chugga chugga choo choo. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So this is a good kit value wise. Doesn't beat the promo of that first kit. I don't think any kit I open will beat that kind of value. On camera, Juggalos and on camera. There we go. So here we go. Let us continue. So we got Zvela Eyeshaper. I still need to build this deck. 
Frenzied Raider. Vengeful Reaper. I absolutely love that card. And Magda. Hey, was it... On game nights, this looked really, really fun. That, oof. Okay, all right. Mm -mm. Hey, hey, look at that. Look at that. Hex backwards. Mm -mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So let us see here. Uh, Rune of Speed, Imberstrom Skull Cairn, Battleshield Warrior, and Herald Unite the Elves. Bleh, that's my promo. And oh, Foil Blessing of Frost. Hey, double rare pack. I really don't think that's worth anything, but I'll go ahead and check it out. So, Blessing of Frost. Let's see here. Blessing of Frost. Blessing of Frost foil, 199 on sale for 150 so no, no values, no values. But it was a double rare pack, and that, those are always fun. Last pack of the kit, well, of kit number two. So here we go. Uh, Bread Card Stronghold, Spectral Steel, Elven Bow, and Cosmia, God of Voyage. And another foil with a Finn the Fangburn foil. Mm. Interesting, interesting. So yeah, that was fun. Was it the pack, uh, was it kit two was a better kit, but nothing, nothing beats the, oh man, that is awesome. I'm gonna have to find a use for it. I'm gonna have to find a use for it. So guess what else I got? Couple of collector's boosters. Hmm? Just cause man, it's cold out there can't do much of anything was able to get out because the weather let me and apparently these next couple of days are gonna be pretty bad so let's just uh let's just try to put a smile on our face huh and what the heck is that all right so on this side we have an elf warrior we're gonna go over here let's see here what uh, no peekies i'm already feeling a curl um Depart the Realm is beautiful art, in my opinion. Let's see here. Saw it coming. Provoke the Trolls. There's the Snow Covered Plains. Hey, Pact of the Serpent. So that's the, uh, what's it from the Commander deck? That's good. Uh, ooh, Borderless Tyrite Sanctum. All right. Foil Rally the Ranks. I like this card. It just was, when I got that, um, that, whatchamacallit, that, uh, that theme booster. It's just like, it was so disappointing that I got nothing uh, unique in that. And then this was the rare that it gave me. This is a cool card. It's a strictly better, uh, what is that card? What is that white card from from Legion, I think it was? Uh, Shared Triumph. Because Shared Triumph gives it to everything, every creature of the type that you choose. Whereas this one is every creature of the type that you choose that you control. So it's strictly better. But mm -mm, there's just it was like no value. Agar freezing flame, coma. Oh, oh man, this is a pack, boy. Uh, Maja and a foil Essica's cherry. Oh, coma's coil and foil. Wow. Five rare pack. Um. Hmm. Okay, so I'm sure Essica's chariot is worth nothing, even though that's the best version you can get. I think. I think it's the best version. I don't think they did a borderless treatment of that one. Let's see here. So, Esca's Chariot, uh, Foil Showcase, 250. So, nope. Uh, Coma. Where did I get that V from? I see Coma. Coma Cosmo Serpent, Showcase. So Coma Cosmos Shurpu is eleven ninety nine, so that's really good. And then uh, we see Tyrite Sanctum. That's a borderless Tyrite Sanctum. Borderless Tyrite Sanctum at two fifty. I guess nobody's figured out how to use that card yet. I think it's a really fun commander card. Pack to the Serpent.
so Pact of the Serpent is two ninety nine. So this right here is like twelve bucks, and then everything else is negligible for this kind of product. So I can't call this pack the values, even though I got five rares or four rares and a mythic. And getting extra copies of this commander card is always welcome. So fun pack, not the values, not the values. Last pack for today. Hey, how am I doing? There you go. Get to look at that lovely night of face. So, there you go. Yeah. So let's see here. Vault robber, Drugger helm, foil agar. I love this art. Snow covered forest, Fjord's retribution. Borderless or extended art room for our champion Blech. Uh, Vargoth and foil. That's kind of cool. Showcase Virja. Torolf. Hey, that's a rare I don't have or a god I don't have. All right. Showcase and. Oh man, this is. That's my big foil. Zombie Berserker. All right. So maybe Vargoth, maybe, and for sure Torolf. So let's see here. Uh, Vargoth. Varagoth. So Varagoth, Blood Sky Sire, five dollars. Uh, so showcase Torolf. Showcase Torolf, eight dollars. There's the hammer. Uh, these two aren't even worth looking up. Even the reflections ain't worth looking up, but that's the best version of that card you can get. So let's see. I feel like that that card is gonna be like a sleeper. Like you know how long it took for people to get behind the Guardian Project to see the the actual power of the Guardian Project, especially, especially in Commander? Where that card was a 50 cent wonder all day, every day, and now it's like an $8 card? I feel like this has that potential. So, Reflections of Lidjara... Extended Art Foil, six dot... Oh! Yeah. What was that? Six, five, and eight? So, it was close to the worth of the pack, but not quite. No values, no value town. But this was another five rare pack, or like the coma one where it was a five rares and a mythic. So yeah, not bad, not bad. So just again, I'm gonna show him a big daddy V. Look at that. Oh, oh, oh. Hope that maybe put a smile on your face. It helped put a little smile on mine. So. Mm -mm, you thought this was gonna put a smile on your face, but it's still cold as hell outside. Mm -mm. What was it? Uh, uh, this is wishing everybody good luck. Was it? Uh, we'll make it. We'll make it through these next few days. So, thank you for joining me on this one. Stay sharp, my friends.